Hey everyone, welcome back to our series for the foundations of Craftsman Kit Building. We got our wall set, we have our trim pieces, our titchy windows, they are painted and they are already cut out. So today what we're going to do is apply our trim, our windows and doors, and our laser cut windows and doors to the model. Um, the first thing we're going to get out is a toothpick. I like to use toothpicks to apply glue, so we're going to use a toothpick. I'm going to go get my glue and we'll be right back. Alright, we are going to use the Type Bond wood glue for this. Um, I'm going to take my palette, add a little glue, probably too much glue there, but whatever. And first step is to cut these windows, the laser cut windows out of the frame here. Well, not all the windows. We're just going to do these doors. Ooh. We'll have to get that one in a second. All right. Cutting these out of the frame. Get the runaway. There we go. These are for something else, so I'm going to set those aside. All right, we got all of our uh, laser cut stuff cut out that we need for the this part of the build. And uh, we are going to actually correct something that I made a mistake for. So this is the top layer. These are the bottom layer. When I painted everything, I didn't realize that this should have been white. That way with this contrast is, contrasts with the uh, top layer of the door. So we're going to go quickly and sponge paint those white. And I will be right back. And to sponge paint these, we're just going to use some antique parchment like we did for the walls. Let's get a tiny bit. And quickly, we're going to sponge paint the bottom layers of these two doors. And I'm going to use the hair dryer to expedite drying these door panels. Okay, gonna add our second coat now. Let these set over here to dry real quick and get started on the rest of it while those dry. Okay, so that's drying. What we're gonna do on the next step is follow our, our trim template, bracing template, and everywhere where there's a green line, we're gonna put the trim that we painted green on the wall. So I'm gonna set that up here and I'm gonna apply my trim and then I'll show you how I do our trim. So the first wall is this one and it gets a trim piece on both sides. So I'm gonna flip it over, cut a piece of the trim to match the bottom and then cut it to match the top angle because this is an angled wall. And then do the same thing for this side. I'm just gonna flip my angled part over because it'll match the same angle. And then cut just the bottom. All right, got that done. I'm gonna set that there until I'm ready to glue it. And I'm gonna get my second wall that needs trim, which is this one. And I'm gonna go a little bit above because it's a different angle then the first wall, cut both ends, done. Okay, this only needs three pieces of trim, according to that trim template. And uh, I will go ahead and glue the trim on with my toothpick and a little bit of wood glue. Just get some wood glue on my toothpick, run it down the edge of the wall. You don't need a lot, this is a really small, piece of lumber, scale lumber, and uh, a lot of people I see will over glue. Uh, you don't need that much glue. Remember, we're not gluing uh, something that's gonna have to hold a lot of weight. This is a, just a small piece of lumber. So again, I'm gonna grab these two pieces of trim, go down the edge of this wall. That is too much glue. 
That's enough for like four pieces of corner trim. I spread that out. That way I don't get over too much glue spilling out over the edges. I'm gonna match up the angle of the piece that I cut. Pop that baby on there. Clean up that little excess right there. Do the same thing with the other side. Remember, we don't need a lot of glue. It is easy to over glue. Just need a thin layer. Okay. Same thing. Match up the angle of the cut to the wall angle. Done. I'm just going to let that dry over here with the other one. I put them upside down. That way the flush part of the wall sits upside down and dries right. The next thing we're going to do here is glue these uh, laser cut doors together. So remember, if you are enjoying our content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon, which is down here in this corner. That way you get more content. Every time we put it up, you'll get a notification of our new videos. As well as our podcast episodes that go up every Friday and then some midweek ones for our toolbox talk. Um, you'll get access to those, whether you're on YouTube or Spotify or iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. They should be there. And if they aren't, send me an email because I'll submit it to whatever podcast you're listening to. Uh, podcast player that you use okay so I just put a thin layer of glue on the back side of the top layer which is like the trim layer of this door again I'm gonna just spread a thin layer a little bit of glue for these things goes a long way you definitely don't want too much glue because it'll seep out through the edges and it'll be places that you don't want it to be and it'll just end up looking sloppy. And we'll just press it down on the bottom layer and make sure it's lined up nice and well. I want to make sure all of the layers are squared up good. And there we go. Just gonna let that dry. We're gonna set those aside right here. And then the next thing we're gonna put in is our titchy windows. So for this, we have one door and then four titchy windows. I'm gonna do the door first and then put the titchy windows in next. Uh, this is the same thing. I use wood glue for this, and what I do for my titchy windows, and I'll get real close to the camera on this, I take a little bit of glue on my toothpick, and I just kind of spin it as I run. I spin the toothpick as I run it up along the edge of the door or window frame where it's going to touch the opening. You Again, you don't need a lot of glue because you don't want it to ooze out over the edges, just a little bit of glue. So I got that done, and I'm gonna just pop that door. <laughs> Easier said than done, here we go. Pop that door into place, let it set there and dry. Let gravity do its work as it pulls that door in and lets it dry. Again, we're gonna do these four windows. And I'm gonna show you a little tip here on windows. I'm doing it off camera, kind of. Sorry. Uh, you're going to make sure the windowsill is uh, down. That's the windowsill side. Make sure it's facing down. And pop that one in. Do the next couple. Yeah, oftentimes I'll put the windows in upside down and realize that once they're dry, you got to pick them out. So I try to be extra diligent, make sure my windows are going in the right way. The other thing that sometimes is funny is you'll get on a roll, especially on a kit that has a lot of windows, and you'll think like, I'm doing really good. I'm getting a lot of this done a lot pretty quick. And um, then you'll realize one of your windows, after you've done 20 of them, is in upside down, or half of them are in the wrong way. So you gotta go back through and you gotta tear them all out. And just pays to make sure that you're putting them in the right way the first time, paying attention. Just a little dot on either side too. Don't need a very, you don't need a lot. Again, you don't want it to be messy and have glue everywhere. It'll ooze out all over and you don't want that. Cause then when you go to back around to put your stains and your weathering pigments and stuff on, um, it won't adhere or it won't take where the glue is. 
it will create a barrier and it won't allow the stain and weathering pigments to stick where you want them to. Okay. Pop those in. There we go. Next up, we're going to put these guys in, the, deck, the laser cut doors, and uh, that'll be it for tonight. All right, for the next step, it calls for trim around this door, and it has it labeled here. Uh, it goes up and around the door. So what we do is we're going to get our trim here, and we're going to cut it around the door frame, right? And it'll go on the outside. Um, and we're going to glue it around just the top and the sides. And then the doors will go in and actually fit perfectly in the laser cut opening. So what we're going to do is cut the trim to match the size of the door. And I want a little bit of overhang on the top. So I'm going to cut the sides to match to the height. And we're using the 2 by 4 piece of trim for this. 2 by 4 scale lumber. Okay, I got the sides. I'm going to glue the sides on first and then measure the top. So let me go ahead and glue the sides on. There we go. First one. Second one, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I have for the, I should have done, I should have done it before I glued them on, so I apologize, but um, we're gonna show you how to do it if you weren't paying attention. Put a little bit of glue on the camera, guys. Put a little bit of glue on the top piece. Then I'm going to correct my mistake. Okay, so I got my trim on. But what I did is when I cut them, you can see the end is, um, the end has the fresh cut wood that's not painted. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit of my green paint, which is, that's way too much already. But uh, get a little bit of green paint and get just my small brush. And um, I'm going to just get a little bit of green paint on here and touch the ends up being careful to not get it on my wall which is why like i said i should have done it before i glued it down but we all make those mistakes so i want to show you how i would correct that mistake if it was already on just gently and carefully touch that up there we go all three sides are covered and those trim pieces won't have a bare end now yeah they won't have a bare end Sounds like a bear hiney. All right. Last step is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of the door frame. A thin coat, once again. You don't need a lot. Too much there. Spread it around. I'm spreading it on the inside of the door frame. And I better do it on camera, on camera, Brett, on camera. Okay, there we go. Got that spread, and I'm just going to take my laser cut door and set it into place. Right there. And then this one, I'm going to put it in, right? But I'm going to put it in and leave it kind of open right like that uh, and to make sure it stays open before it dries I'm gonna get a toothpick right and prop it open and leave it like that to dry and then when that's dry I'll come back that'll be dry in that position because the glue is holding it now and um, when I pull the toothpick out, when it's dry, that door will be propped open, and then I can put a cool little scene inside that. So that's what we did today. We did our trim, which is here and here, here and here. 
Uh, and then we did all of our titchy windows and our laser cut door. Uh, and that is going to be a wrap for tonight. So join us again tomorrow night. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification. Also, give us a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy our content. And if you're enjoying this building series uh, and are enjoying following along, thank you again for viewing this. Hope you guys are all liking this build. We got a bunch more coming out. And uh, like I said, we got some hydrocal stuff to do. We got some decking to build. This kit really offers a lot. Again, this is the Yard office number three from FOS scale models, but these techniques you can apply to any build. They aren't necessarily unique to just this build. You can do these with anything. So if you're picking up uh, any kit from any other manufacturer, certainly you can use the same techniques to follow along because most of them have your titchy windows. Most of them you're gonna bump like this because that's how clumsy I am. Set the toothpick back. All of these techniques basically guys can be applied to anything. So I just wanna make sure you know that you don't have to go out and buy that kit. It'd be fun if you built this along with us, but uh, this is not an affiliate build. I just picked it because it has a lot of different variety to show you between hydrocal and wood and details and dock building, everything, or decking. So that's it. Thanks for following along. We'll see you again tomorrow night.